Hello everybody YouTube land and welcome back to Milton Asian's channel. Today I'm looking at a pretty cool uh, cheap gaming keyboard that I got sent from Sunvision. Thank you uh, Sunvision for sending this over. This is a Sunvision Sonic Wave RGB gaming keyboard. So we're just going to look at the features, crack it open and see what we got. Okay guys, so this is the front of the box. Now you can pick this up from Amazon, like I said, it's only about £27 this, um, but it's a pretty decent price to be honest for the keyboard that you get. So as you can see on the front, you've got some basic features. We've got rainbow color RGB gaming keyboard, we've got nine unique LED modes, um, we've got an LED music equalizer mode as well, which basically means that the uh, LEDs on the keyboard pulsate to whatever uh, your sound is going on in the game or you know your music. You've got 19 key anti-ghosting, which is good for uh, a game and keyboard and you've got um, you know hybrid key switches so they're not exactly mechanical switches but they are um, not rubber dome ones either so on the top here you basically got a repeat of what is going on about there and you got the battle LED keys you know just kind of reinforcing what we've got <coughs> And then on the back here, it shows you that you've got your anti-ghosting keys, where which ones they are. So it's basically your WASD kind of layout. Um, you've got your arrow keys, your spacebar, everything you would expect, really. A little uh, image of the hybrid key switches there. And then it just goes and reinforces the features there on the back. So let's just open it up here. I'm just going to pop the camera down a bit. There we go. Make sure that's level one second. Okay, so I'm just going to open the box here. Alright, so inside the box you get the keyboard in a little uh, plastic baggie. And then the cables which are stored away inside here. And then there's nothing else in there, nope. So I'll just chuck that. Okay, let's get this thing to focus. There we go. So just pull this out, There's the keyboard, and we have some instructional manuals. So the first one we have here is the um, Sun Vision uh, free direct support for your product. So basically a simple warranty card to tell you where to go. And um, we've got a basic uh, operations guide. So um, I'll just open this thing out. You can have a look. So basically telling you where your anti-ghosting keys are. Your package, user manual, you know, your combination function keys and then on the back there we'll tell you how to change your LED pattern modes and all that good stuff. So it is driverless so you don't have to download anything you simply just plug and play which is always good to see. Okay so we have that so let's flip this around. This is the keyboard itself and uh, let me just get that to focus, there we go, so this is the keyboard itself so um, you do have the palm rest which is actually built in so you can't actually remove this palm rest but you know it's good to see that they actually get one it's not just a you know um, uh, it's just by itself so uh, the actual keyboard itself is quite slimline uh, in terms of width like you don't get a massive huge bezel at the top and at the side so it's quite a um, you know, compact keyboard, so you won't need loads of desk space to use it. You do get a full numerical key as well. Now, if I just type on this thing, you know, it's not as noisy as a mechanical. You do feel a tactile bump as you press the key, um, but it's not by any means like a uh, mechanical key switch. So it's kind of in between rubber dome and a mechanical key switch. If I was going to compare it to a, um, a mechanical key switch, it'd be more like the MX Browns, but of course without the mechanical, um, you know, uh, uh, construction. So I'm just going to plug this in um, using the USB, which the USB is, uh, for, for I mentioned, it is braided, red and uh, black, and you get a gold-plated USB connector there as well. Um, so I'm just going to plug it in, and we'll see the LEDs turn on. <coughs> And there you go, so we get funky Vegas baby RGB kind of effect there. Um, and as you can see, it's already set to a spiralling um, uh, function here. So pretty cool stuff. Um, oh, it's gone out of focus. There, there we go. One second. Get this right. Okay, so yeah, you've got the spiral uh, folk, um, effect there. And then you can kind of press this... Uh, 
light button to quickly turn the LEDs on and off. All right, so I'm just going to go and um, turn off the lights in my room so you can get a proper look at it and we'll just go through the functions. Okay guys, so I've just got the uh, lights in my room uh, um, slightly dimmed here so you can get a better idea of what the actual uh, keyboard looks like lit up. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit there so you can get a better idea. Okay, now um, it has got quite a few different um, uh, modes. So at the moment it's set to rainbow stream mode, which you can activate by pressing function and one. If you press function and two, you can get a rainbow light step mode. It's called. So we're going to try that. So function and two. So yeah, we've got a slightly different effect there, where it's you know changing um, colours in step. So and then the next one is seven colour breathing mode. So I'm going to press function and three. So function and three and there you go so you've got a change of um, I'm guessing it just pulses from one colour to the next as it is doing which is pretty smart um, and then there's a colour pulse wave mode so on this mode you'll get horizontal wave motion so we'll try function and four so function and four and there you go pretty cool proper night rider looking to be honest it's quite good you know I'm quite impressed uh, with how the uh, effects look like um, now, yeah, and then you've got function and five, which is single color LED static mode, and you can change the brightness by pressing function and page up and page down. So, function and five, there you go, and you can play function, page up, page down. So, that's highest brightness there, okay? So, you do get um, a decent. What I'm quite impressed about is normally with a cheaper gaming LED keyboard, you don't get a consistent. Um, uh, LED, uh, you know, it kind of fades off um, in, in different parts of the keyboard, but this seems pretty even to be honest. And you also get some vision logo which is lit up there, as well as the caps lock, um, you know, keys they are uh, lit up also, which is pretty smart. Okay, and then we're not done yet, we've got quite a few different uh, functions here. We've got function and um, LED pattern mode, um, so you can change the speed of the LED as well. Um, so let's try that. So that's function in six. Look at that. <clears throat> and you can change the speed by pressing page up and page down. I'm saying. So, oh, yeah, you're going to have an epileptic fit with that one. So that's pretty smart. And then we've got function and custom LED mode. Uh, if you press function seven, where you have to, you can put in your own idea, but I'm not really going to use that one because uh, I've not programmed anything. So you've got function and eight for echo typing mode. So let's try that one, function eight. So let's have a look. We've got to type some stuff. Uh, oh, hello. And you can also use page up, page down to adjust the speed. Um, I'll just turn it completely off. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I like that one. You know, that is quite smart. Similar to uh, what Corsair have on their keyboards, but they're a hell of a lot more expensive. And the final one is the Function and 9, which is the music mode. So right now, as you can see from the keyboard itself, it's got a little small built-in microphone, and it's picking up my voice. Okay, so if I actually um, put on some music or some gunfire, it will actually... Um, uh, the pulse to the um, uh, it will pulse to you know the song or whatever. Um, now, if you use function and up down, it will change colors of the LED so you can prick between red, green, and blue. So, if I do function and up, yeah, can you see how it's changed there? And then you can change to green and etc. You can do all that, which is pretty smart. Um, and then you've got function and nine again, and the LEDs will constantly flicker between seven different colors during audio playback. So if I do function and nine, and let's see if it changes. Yeah, you can see it changing colors there, so that's pretty smart. And then you've got function and page up, page down, which will change the LED flash rate to make it less sensitive or more sensitive. Um, so there is completely off, put it up one and then it's least sensitive there. So I'm going to play some tunes so you can get an idea of what it will actually do in music. So.
let's turn the volume up a bit. Alright, so that's the keyboard there. I'm just going to turn the lights completely off so you get an idea of what it looks like with the LEDs completely on. So there we go, and I'm just going to put it back to uh, rainbow mode. There you go. So, to wrap up, I'm pretty impressed with this keyboard to be honest. Um, it's got really, really cool lighting effects without breaking the bank like you can do with some of the mechanical RGB keyboards. So, if you don't want to spend quite as much as an RGB gaming keyboard, uh, which most of them are mechanical, like you've got your Razer Black Widow Chroma, you've got your Corsair K70s and K95s RGBs, but if you're not really, or even if you want a, a quieter keyboard, so mechanical keyboards are quite noisy. This is probably a better option. And um, for £27, an absolute bargain. You've got really cool effects in there. It's driverless, so it's very lightweight. If you just want a plug and play, simple RGB, funky keyboard, I would definitely recommend this. So, this is the um, Sum Vision Sonic Wave. I'll put the link in the description. Don't forget to uh, leave me a comment and please do subscribe.